still in here. Yeah! Especially you pro-vaxxers. Yeah! So, yeah, you and a half ago we were supposed to come through here with a little follow-up from the first individualist tour. Um, I was, it was a combination of like book and music tour. And then we went to the trouble of doing a new edition of the book. I wrote maybe 10 more excruciating chapters. Because <laughs> uh, writing to me is like doing homework in high school, and that's why I barely got out of it. <laughs> but anyway, the book's called The Individualist, in case you hadn't heard the show. It's kind of about the book, and the book's about me. So the show's about me. Yeah! So it's going to be a big old me tonight. <laughs> You know, those last two songs, those are two of the first songs that I ever wrote. Indeed, the last one was the very first song that I ever write it. <laughs> and we were doing cover material and, you know, other people's songs. Uh, Bizarre makes of Beach Boys, The Miracles, and The Who. <laughs> if you can somehow resolve that in your mind, but we realized we couldn't get very far unless we started writing our own songs, so I set about to write my very first song, which was that last song now. Hello. Woo! Can you imagine, like more than 50 years before Adele thought of it. <laughs> <laughs> so, Adele's covered it, wow. <laughs> Hall of Fame! So I was, uh, shut <laughs> So I had a good musical idea, I had stolen it. That's why I knew it was good. <laughs> this is what music's about. You know? Yes! If you steal shitty music, you make shitty music. <laughs> steal some good music, maybe you'll make some good music. Yeah. So, yeah. Then I had to figure out how to write the lyrics to it because I had never written a song before. I'd never written lyrics for a song, although I knew how to rhyme. And so I, uh, I started to think about what's, what is everybody into nowadays? This is the late 60s, you know, and this is the Vietnam War, people were writing about that, and, and just revolution in general, and the uh, women's movement was happening, and Everybody was taking a lot of new experimental drugs and things, and yet I still couldn't figure out what to write about. And then I realized not much more than a year earlier, my high school sweetheart had broken my heart. still stings to this day. No, it doesn't. Anyway, it's in the book. So. Uh, so I thought, maybe I should write about this traumatic event that happened to me, you know. First of all, it was, I never, ex I had this girl in high school and I just, you know, I admired the heck out of her. She was just so very pretty and she had, and, and so I admired the hell out of her. And for some reason she decided that she liked me and started dating me. And I was so chuffed, I was so proud. This was the best thing that had ever happened to me in my life thus far. And everything was going swimmingly, I thought, and then I brought her home from a date one afternoon, and her dad was out mowing the lawn, and when he saw me get out of the car, he turned the hose on me. <laughs> I think it was all about this, this thing here. You know, this late 60s wasn't a big thing then, you know. And so, like, I think that it was the hair that attracted it to her to me, and then her dad turned a hose on me, and then all of that respect went out the window. So, I, I wrote the song, but to be honest, I wrote it so that it looked like I broke up with her. <laughs> Take that, my folks. After that, I realized, you know, 
instead of worrying about all this stuff, I'll, you should, the first thing you should think of when you're going to write a song is a girl that messed with you. <laughs> or maybe a girl who hasn't yet messed with you. 